Hey y'all, um, we'll talk a little bit about this saw. It, uh, this is the one that's for sale. Oh, and by the way, first off, these chainsaw pants, primo. Should have bought these years ago. But uh, the price of chaps, put a little bit more with it and you can get these. Bartlett's Arborist Supply. Just Google search it. I'm pretty sure they're in Michigan. Uh, yeah, I mean, they got, like the title says, it's Arborist Supplies. But these are the, the low end Solador. I think that's how you say it. Solador pants. They're a little over 100 bucks. In the catalog, they're listed at 115 but I just bought mine and they were 95 plus tax shipping. So I got them to the door for about 115. They're comfortable. I can wear these all day and not even think about it. Chaps are so uncomfortable. I hate them. And then if you gotta go, you know, take a leak, it's like an act of God getting in there and getting getting business done. It's just about easier to take the chaps off and then put them back on. These, just like pants, you just go on about your business. Very comfortable. I mean, this is only the second day of wearing them. And so far, I would recommend them. I'll put these on there for you. Steel guys. I'm a steel hat on too, and I'm running Husqvarna clones. <laughs> You can't you can't beat it out of me. I'm a steel guy. I really like how these uh, 372s run though. They are no joke. They are good saws. I mean, I'm really not brand specific. I've just always I've ran more steels than anything. Let's put it that way. Growing up, but uh, you know, I'm not biased against really any saw. I got Pioneers, I got a couple of Homolites, I got some Poolins, I got some Steels, I got some real Husqvarna's, I got some real Steels, I got Steel Clones, I got Husqvarna Clones, I don't care, I feel like I'm leaving something out, but, oh, Johnson Reds, I got a bunch of Johnson Reds, I really like them, so, anyway, about this saw. This is a deal, guys. I mean, it is an absolute deal. This is a good, strong work saw. When you look at the price of a kit, the cheapest way to get one of these saws, and that's assembling it yourself. If you were to, if you were to do that, I mean, you're looking at—I don't even know what they are now. Two, around two forty or something, maybe. 240 bucks, then you got to assemble it. Then, if you want it to run like this, you got to send it to somebody to get it ported and machined. So, that's around another 300 bucks. That's for somebody that, like me, that does it cheap. Guys that's been doing it for years charges a lot more. So, you know, you're looking at. Uh, Five hundred some dollars, right there, before you ever use it. Plus, this one's got an upgraded piston in it. That's another forty bucks. It's already broke in. It's ready to go. I'm just saying, this four fifty is a steal for this thing. You won't find you won't find one cheaper it's ported. It's basically a new saw. Somebody needs to own this thing. It needs a new home. I know it's a bad time of year to sell stuff. Christmas and whatnot. Coming up. But something to think about. Seems like everybody wants my four si or my 046 light. I think I could sell that if I just go make one mess, send one message out. I think it'll be sold. If 
I love that saw. I put a lot of work in that thing. So, it's staying here. So if you want one built, we'll talk. But the only way to get an orange and white one is to build a kit. They don't offer, Farmer Tech don't offer an orange and white pre-built steel clone. You going to get a blue one or you're going to build a kit. So anyway, make a cut with this thing. Say, somebody needs to take this home. That's a 28 inch bar there by the way and it's not included. a little lower on this one when I build it. The exhaust is at 103. That's 17 degrees blow down. It's got 80 on the intake. Which seems to be a pretty good combination with the way I do things. It seems to work pretty good. It's got plenty of torque. Yeah, if you're interested, let me know. There you go.